so today is a very exciting day in Brian May near Fanland and uh, the news is that Starfleet, which was a mini album he made in collaboration with Eddie Van Halen and some other wonderful musicians, is getting re-released. And not only is it getting re-released, but it's getting all of the full box set treatment. So there's lots of extra jams of two of the world's greatest guitarists sparring with each other in LA back in 1983. Um, Pretty excited about that. That link you just heard is from a song called Let Me Out, which is um, the second track on that album. Now, I'm just going to show you how to play it because it's really worth learning because it's just got a lot of love in it that, um, you know, is really going to be useful for your phrasing and just in your general musical approaches on the guitar. So just first of all, what's happening? Well, there's just a very, very nice chord vamp happening. Just G and D playing a uh, F sharp on the bass and then the next bit is F C and then we have a nice this solo starts a lot like Bohemian Rhapsody and I'll just explain that so the first chord that he starts the solo on is G now this is a G and we know it is a G chord shape G and we know that with bar chords so I put on a capo, so the next one is uh, shaped like an E chord. So if we follow this up the neck, around this end of the neck, we get a G chord that looks a bit like the C that you learned on day one in guitar lessons. So the first lick is mapping two notes from that G chord, D and B. And how you play them is, first finger, seventh fret on the G string and hit that twice. And we're going to go from the 10th fret on the B string. I'm going to bend it up a tone so it sounds like B. So A to B. So two bends. And uh, vibrato afterwards. This type of vibrato is very important because when we do vibrato on the guitar, we're not really doing true vibrato because we can only make the note sharp and return it to pitch. But when you do a bend, we can go either side of the note so we Sounds very vocal and musical. Anyway. Now with the notes still bent, we repick it. Let it down. And then pull off to the A fret. And then. So that's the 10th fret and the 7th fret of the G string again. So. Okay, and then we start again. And those two notes on the second run of this, they kind of stick out or they don't ring into each other. And then we're going to play the 10th fret of the B, up twice like that again. Except instead of letting it down, we go straight to the 9th fret of the E and the 10th fret of the E string. And then back to the 10th fret on the B. So we get. and vibrato. Now, the next thing that happens is a bit of a posi position shift um, because we're going into the F chord, but before we go to the F chord, we have to finish up with, with the D chord. So it leads into the F chord with two D notes again, except instead of playing them with his first finger, we're gonna use our second finger because we're gonna be bending down here next. And then bend the eighth fret. And it's the same sort of lick as earlier on. So that's two bends, vibrato, repick, down, pull off, eighth fret, and then the fifth fret there. And what he's actually doing there, he's mapping this chord here, which is F, which is what's happening underneath with the rest of the band. Now, next, the chords are A and E. So what he's actually going to do here So what's happened here? Real typical little blues lick here. So we're going to bend the 7th fret on the G up to the, so it sounds like the 8th fret. So then pull off to 5 and then back to 7. And then we're going to repeatedly bend 
the seventh fret of the G, so it sounds like that's E flat, that's uh, eighth fret of the G. And that's really it, and this is a real nice blues lick, um, because over the A chord it sounds awful. It sounds distant, and in blues, Part of what you want to do is have sort of call and response or uh, a sort of a, a dissonance and a resolution. So what does that mean? So something that tickles the ear and then something that resolves then. So it's a real typical sort of blues thing to do. So he actually holds on to that note for a long time though. And that's what gives it its sort of characteristic sort of bluesy finish. Okay, I'm very excited about this re-release. Um, might have a look at a few more. Maybe somebody wants to do uh, the Eddie Van Halen parts with a piece with me somewhere or something like that. Give me up if you're into doing that for the fun. Um, can't wait to hear it and hope you enjoyed that little lesson.